Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about um, running ping sweeps and uh, host discovery on a network. Now, uh, before we actually get started with all of that, um, I need to explain a few things about Nmap because that's essentially what we're talking about here, right? So uh, most of you, I'm sure, already have some experience with Nmap. Um, but let's start off with a default scan, right? Um, so if I type in nmap and then I type in, I can either type in the IP address or the domain of my target and uh, that will run a default nmap scan, which in essence means nmap is going to scan uh, for a thousand of the most popular or the most common ports on that particular target. Now in talking about ports, we have a lot of ports and to put that into context, we have about 65,535 ports and with Nmap, you can scan all of them. Of course, it's going to take a lot of time depending on the other options that you specify, whether you want things like service um, detection or enumeration or operating system enumeration, right? So if I want to run a, a default Nmap scan, what do I need to do? So I type in Nmap and I can use uh, scan me, um, scan me dot Nmap um, dot org, right? And that is the this is the default uh, website or domain that Nmap has set up for students or anyone curious uh, and want, uh, for anyone who's curious about learning about how Nmap works. So I can run a default scan uh, on this and that's going to give us a, a list of all the ports. It's also going to perform a reverse DNS uh, resolution. So it's going to give us the, the, the server IP address. And the reason I want to cover this before we take a look at uh, host discovery through pings and of course we'll also take a look at another form of uh, host discovery that does not involve ICM, uh, sending ICMP echo requests. All right, so you can see that it gives us the results and the results are sorted out very neatly. And it gives us a summary of the version of Nmap that was used, uh, the date in which the scan was initialized and the time zone. This is good if you're exporting the reports. It also performs the reverse DNS lookup for us. Uh, and it gives us the IP address here, right? It also gives us an IPv6 address and uh, it tells us that uh, 996 uh, of the ports that it scanned, of the 1000 ports that it scanned are filtered. Now, filtered is a state uh, in which a port is currently in. Now, the, uh, the state of the port can either be open, closed or filtered. Open means that the service is actually running on that particular port and that port is open and, uh, and is accepting connections. Closed means that that port is not accepting any connections, but there is a service running on it. And filtered means that Nmap is unable to to accurately come to a conclusion as to whether the port is open or closed and there might be packet filtering set up or a firewall. Um, however, in most cases, you'll typically have open or closed ports. And in the, in the case of Nmap, it displays this in the form of three columns. So you have your port, the state of the port and the service that's running. So in this case, we have uh, four ports and four services, obviously. So we have the TCP uh, port 22 open, port 80, and it also tells us the protocol. So if it's UDP, it will also tell us that. And then we have 9929 and 31337. And uh, the most uh, interesting ones are going to be SSH, of course, because that's a, a possible attack vector. And then HTTP, right? So that gives you an idea of what a default scan is. But let's talk about host discovery now. Right? So host discovery is, again, the process of discovering targets on a particular network. And let's say for this for this case, I wanted to, to know what devices are currently on my network. I wanted to see, hey, uh, tell me what device is on my network. So to do this, I would type in nmap and I would say sn and that is uh, going to be uh, a ping, right? A ping sweep. It's going to run a ping sweep and I can specify a uh, a single device. So I can specify uh, my router and uh, I can hit enter, right? And it's going to tell us that it's um, running a Xiaomi router and um, it gives us the MAC address. And through the Mac, of course, it gets the manufacturer and it tells us that this uh, that this host is up, right? So, hey, that's cool. But I can also run uh, or scan my entire network range through uh, my my subnet. Uh, of course, I specify the subnet. And of course, this is going to vary depending on the network size you're actually performing the scan on. In, in, in my case, it's a default network size um, or de default network range. So I hit 24 or I can use a 1 and 254 or 2, uh, yeah, so uh, 0.1 and 254 or I can just hit the entire range like so. And uh, that's going to tell me, hey, we have uh, your router, that's on, that's the default gateway, that's 192.168.1.1. 
It also gives us the Mac address. We then have an, a win, my Windows box, which is, uh, it tells us the manufacturer is ASRock. That's the, uh, the motherboard manufacturer. Of course, it doesn't explicitly tell you that it's running Windows. And for that, we need to perform service, uh, service enumeration. We then have uh, two devices which are uh, running in virtual box and it's able to deduce this by looking at the Mac address and it tells us that uh, they're running these two machines are most likely uh, virtualized operating systems and that's correct this uh, this one right over here is uh, running windows server 2008 and this is the current uh, this is the kali box right over here i believe so so if i type in i have config let me just confirm that yes that's the case so it gives us all the devices on my network now an interesting thing here to take into consideration is uh, let's say we're now on an enterprise network and um we have uh, various Windows devices on the network, but we really don't know about that. And we're, we're, you know, we're running completely blind here. So if I type in nmap sn, uh, and uh, this is using ICMP. So again, I, let me just display the options here. So man, nmap, and uh, can I just grab this and say sn, for example. And yeah, so this tells us this is a no port scan. So it doesn't scan the ports. This is just used for host discovery. So it consists of uh, ICMP echo requests, which is what I'm getting to. And then it also scans uh, TCP, it scans uh, or sends a, a SYN flag uh, on TCP port 443 and TCP ACK, uh, the ACK um, flag to port 80, right? So ICMP is, is used quite a bit in discovery. So you send an ICMP echo request and you get a response. And then th that re response tells you whether the host is up or down. Now on Windows and more specifically Windows Server where you know you have the firewall configuration set up and uh, any good administrator will block incoming ICMP echo, echo request. This, uh, th this of course will disable or prevent any discovery. Um, so if I, uh, let me also grab the option that we're going to use. So if I just say, um, I want to use, um, I want to, well, I, I don't want the case to be, I want to, uh, so yeah, we will just run, and this is gonna be PN, and I'll follow the case, there we are. So it tells us that um, this is another option of discovery in the event that you have devices that are currently blocking ICMP echo requests and don't have web servers running um, so again, PN will treat all hosts as online and will skip the host discovery. So this is going to perform a, um, uh, it's, it's not going to ping it, it's going to just perform a port scan. So there we are. It tells us right over here, so this is no ping and it's going to skip the host, uh, host the discovery and it gives you the various options that you can specify. In our case, again, I can just hit uh, nmap uh, PN and I can then type in 182.168.1.1 and I just specify 24, that's my network range. And it'll pretty much give me the same results and that's because on my Windows Server 2008 box, uh, I haven't enabled that yet. I haven't enabled or uh, prevented or disabled rather uh, ICMP, um, ICMP requests um, uh, in terms of my incoming rules. And uh, the reason I haven't done that right now is because I still want to explain the fundamentals of Nmap before we start talking about firewall evasion and stuff like that, which is quite interesting. So uh, just, just to confirm my point, you can see that this uh, on, uh, the, on the IP 192.168.1.38, you can see that this is the Windows server and it gives us all the services that are currently active. So I have FTP, SSH and a few other services that I'll, I'll disclose as we move along, right? So uh, in the event that you're, a device on the network is uh, is not responding to ICMP echo requests. You then want to use the PN option, which will skip host discovery. And uh, again, with when performing your ping sweep, if I type in sorry and map and I use SN, I can type in individual hosts, right? And uh, point one point one. 68.1.38. That's if I want to check if a particular device is online. And again, it, it gives us the information we're looking for. And it tells us, yeah, these two addresses are up. So you can run a plethora of options in regards to how you specify the targets, you can specify ranges, so on and so forth. So th that's really the basics of host discovery on Nmap. And of course, uh, in my previous videos, I've talked about host discovery on networks using things like the ARP protocol and ARP spoofing. Uh, but that's going to come later on. In this case, we're just talking about using ICMP echo requests and of course, uh, avoiding that altogether in the event that you have a Windows boxes uh, that are currently uh, set up and are uh, that are denying or preventing ICMP echo requests. Um, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know and uh, you can post them on the forum at forum.hackersploit.org. 
or in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you.